Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I tend to talk on a variety of topics and I'm interested to know what topics you want me to talk about. Anyway, today I decided to talk about when no really means no. And I'm talking about date rape. I'm talking about when they're talking about husbands can rape their wives. And it's a very um, delicate situation. And it really depends on each and every individual woman, because every woman is different. And their boundaries are different, their their techniques are different, everything is different about each woman. So one cap definitely doesn't fit all. I come from the era where a woman would play hard to get and um, if a man wanted a woman he'd have to keep pursuing her you know even when he was trying it on the woman would behave like she didn't want it even when she did and eventually um, through his technique or how whichever way he did it he would either um, pass the test or he wouldn't but men don't know what's going on and I was thinking about this recent scandal in um, Bachelor's Paradise with DeMario and Colleen, I think her name was. Anyway, she was up all over him, kissing and stuff like that. It then turned out that they said that he was too aggressive and he was doing all kinds of things to her and they made it look like it was non-consensual. The thing is, with a man, a man will assume that if a woman is all over him and paying him a lot of attention, she may want to go all the way. But that women are, um, are in touch with their feelings. It, there's a lot of processes going on when a woman meets a man. With a man, he tends to think with his special parts, but with a woman, it's a process. So a man, if, if a woman is all over him, he's going to think, oh, yeah, she wants me, especially if she's fondling him and stuff like that. He's going to think, yeah, she wants me. With a woman, she probably does want him, but he could do something wrong that could turn her totally off. He might not be able to kiss. He might have bad breath. He might what he might grope her in a certain way. He might be a bit too rough. He might not know how to charm her. He might say something to turn her off. And at that point, regardless of the the behaviour before, that when she starts resisting, that means that she doesn't want to go any further regardless of how she was into you just a few seconds ago, regardless if she allowed you to pass first base, second base, she may not, after all, want you to pass third base. The only way you can tell it when a woman doesn't want you, it, 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 that some people, you know, I've watched a lot of these bachelorette shows and the man says to her, you know, can I kiss you? And the woman saying, oh, I don't want you to ask me if you want to kiss me, you, you should just kiss me. But they have to understand how it is for men these days. They can't just assume. They can't just kiss. They can't just fondle. They can't just touch because there has a lot of implications. So it, it, we've come to a situation where it's about consent, where it's about it makes it very, very mechanical and um, less natural, but that's where we've got to now. And that's where the kind of position men have been placed into. I've heard about men who talk about they can be in bed with their wives and um, they might want to touch their wives and the wives say to them, look, you know, I touch me, I don't want to talk to you and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they get all nasty and say, listen, if, 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 you, try to, if you try to touch me, I'm going to shout out rape. And that man has to wait until his woman is no longer angry with him, whereas she was able, he was able to make love to her before. They've been having sex, but they're in an argument now. She has decided to carry it a bit further. She doesn't want him to touch her and it can get out of hand. So a man has to be extremely sensitive to know the nuances and he might even say, is it worth it going through all that hassle? For some, it's not worth it. For some, if they want to really get to know the person, they might go slowly and stealthily on to see if they can get to know the person a bit better. But with women, it is about, you know, letting a man know whether or not you want him or not and taking that responsibility. 
and letting him know, listen, you know, I might want you now, but, you know, if you do something I don't like, I might not want you. And if I say stop, it means I want you to stop. It's as calculating as that. Because, it, you know, you get some relationships that are automatic. You just vibe. You just, you've got a special chemistry. Everything goes according to clockwork. And none of these mechanics come into play. Whereas you get others that for whatever reason, whatever, whatever's been going on in the man's life, the woman's life, whether it, who's an amateur, who's not an amateur, you know, you get men that they, that, you know, they try to kiss you, they're slobbering all over the place. And then, you know, they, they wonder why you're turned off or they don't know how to turn a woman on. And then when you're turned off, they're like, oh, you know, you wanted me one minute. You don't want me the next minute. You know, it's about investigating and researching and knowing the woman's body and knowing what she wants if it's reached that place. And when you've just met a woman, you don't know what place she's at. So you can't make those assumptions. Some people say, oh, well, she was all over me. That means, you know, she's up for it. No, it doesn't mean she's up for it. She might be up for it in that minute. I mean, she might have been drinking. Who knows what the circumstances are? But she might be up for it in that moment. And then you do something stupid and she's not up for it anymore. You just have to swallow it and say, OK, you know, she didn't like this or she didn't like that. She doesn't want to. you don't push the point. You don't say, oh, come on. Oh, we're going to have a nice time. Oh, let's let's try it. No, a woman doesn't want to hear that. Once you've turned her off, you've turned her off. There's no turning back. There's a lot of work to get back to that place if you really want that woman. And if you don't, you might as well just move on. You've blown it. And that's what a lot of men, I think, don't understand. They don't understand that, that, that the process of lovemaking is in stages for the woman. And each stage is a delicate stage. And only somebody who's an expert, really, at knowing how to overcome each stage will get to the end. But some, you know, you get some people, they're tripping, they're falling all over the place, they're slobbering, they're, they're groping. Ugh, I don't even want to go there. But all I'm saying is that when a woman changes her mind midstream and says no, it's, it's because you've slipped up somewhere. You've done something wrong. You haven't held her right. You haven't, you, whatever it is, something has gone wrong that's turned her off. It could be even something you say could have called her somebody else's name you could say a term that she doesn't like like some people will say oh dali or beer beer or whatever it is it could be something like that that's turned her off you know what I mean but not every woman that's into you in the beginning is going to be into you in the end there are processes and at any point a woman can be turned off so that's I don't know if this has helped any man out there understand the process of how you know a no really means no. In this day and age, you have to assume that a no does mean no. All those old TV programs, you know, people who are born in the 60s and 70s and all of that kind of stuff, it's totally different. Now, you know, you're on a different generation, totally different rules of the game. So you've just got to be careful. We don't want you ending up like DeMario, even though that was a consensual relationship. But the way it was portrayed was though he took it without her consent. And it has to be very clear these days that you get the woman's consent and not implicit consent, not complicit consent, but implicit consent it has to be clear. Do you want me? Can I kiss you? Do you want me to make love to you as you're making love to you? Is this OK? Do you feel OK? Am I doing it right? All that kind of stuff. And know at the point where you see her body change or her, her facial features change or her reaction changes. And then, you know, oh, oh, I've done something wrong. Something's not right. Let's stop. Let's talk about it or whatever it is you need to do. But whatever you do, don't force it. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.